Let's be clear. Electrosensitivity, often referred to as electromagnetic hypersensitivity or EHS, is not a disease, a weakness or a figment of the imagination. It is a biologically correct response to an environmental pollutant. In one sense, those with EHS are fortunate because they are aware of how microwave technology is affecting them, and the rest of us are fortunate to have them around. They are the lamplighters, the canaries in the coal mine, who alert us to the dangers and absolute folly of pervasive microwave radiation in our environment. Whether or not you think you are being affected, whether or not you feel the effects, you are being affected. Of course you are. Do you honestly think that radiation that passes through concrete buildings to get to your phone does not also pass through you? Are you aware that your heart and all your cells run on tiny electrical impulses that can be affected by tiny amounts of man-made electromagnetic radiation? Are you aware that this radiation messes with your blood cells and your all-important blood-brain barrier? Are you aware that it can exacerbate and even initiate all kinds of health issues that you may not have associated with microwave radiation? Those with electrosensitivity can physically feel this radiation as plainly as you feel the heat from an open fire. They don't need to prove the science, as the perpetrators and promoters of this technology would have them do. There is no point in engaging in such discourse. The industry is well-funded, well-prepared to face the music, and adept at creating spin and doubt designed to handle controversial situations, as has been done in the past with smoking, asbestos, thalidomide and more. And anyway, their arguments are a cynical cover-up of what they have always known, that this technology is dangerous to human health. No, those with EHS aren't playing games. They didn't choose to become microwave refugees with all the health, financial and social challenges that result. They didn't choose to lose their savings, their homes and their livelihoods. They would much rather be enjoying a happy, healthy life with the freedom to go where they do choose. But their bodies cannot lie. Their bodies will never be convinced by spin, clever arguments or pressure to fit in and stop making a fuss. And they should not be forced into social isolation, be marginalised, ridiculed or regarded as hypochondriacs. As the numbers of those with EHS grow, and the impact on our nation's health and finances continues to increase, those who feel the radiation should be valued for recognising and acknowledging the truth. They are the ones we should be listening to, if we are to survive on this planet. Because it's not just about us. Our whole ecosystem is affected. The birds, bees, animals and plants on which we depend for our survival are all being affected by this known carcinogen, this known biohazard. Our children are particularly vulnerable. If you use your mobile phone near your children, if you allow your children to use a wireless device, if you expose your children to Wi-Fi at home or at school, they do not have the means or wisdom to object. But when they reach adulthood and are unable to conceive, they might have something to say about it. They will hold you responsible for knowingly exposing them to harm. It's time to wake up to what's going on to face our denial and take responsibility for our choices. It's time to EMF off.